The autocorrect feature is just like it sounds. It will automatically correct things that it considers to be incorrect from the database that it has. And the autocorrect database, I'll show you how you can customize it. But first off, as an example, when you type in a misspelled word like T-I-H-S, after you hit the space bar, the autocorrect feature is executed. It checks everything that's behind the space, well, just the letters that are together that make up the word, that in this case, it's going to find in its database and say, T-I-H-S is typically spelled T-H-I-S. Hit the space bar and it corrects it for you or automatically corrects. Now after it does that, if you don't like that, then you can hover back over the word that it changed and then you get that little blue line underneath the first letter in the word. Hover over that, pops open into the autocorrect options tag, click on it, and you can go ahead and change it back to T-I-H-S. Click on it and it doesn't like it hover back over it again, you still get the blue line, hover over that to pop it open, then click on the tag, and you can go ahead and say redo autocorrect, hover over it, and then click on the tag, you can stop automatically correcting this, so it removes it from its database, so every time you type in T-I-H-S, it's not going to do anything. And then you can actually go right to the autocorrect options. When you click on it, you can see that you've got, well, as far as autocorrect goes here, that it will show autocorrect option tag or button there. And it will correct two initial capitals. So if you type in CA, then everything's lowercase. It will lowercase the second letter that's in cap. In any case, you can go ahead and play with that or more to the point down below. Whatever you type in, like T-I-H-S, look down below. That's what you type in when you hit the space bar. That's what it's going to replace it with. So if I select it and I hit delete, it's no longer going to automatically correct that because it's no longer in its database. And that's what happens when you say click on the button to stop automatically correcting this. It will automatically delete this from the database for you. Let me go ahead and click cancel and hover back over it again. And that little blue line is going to be there until you perform another action. Like if I hit the space bar again, it's gone. So if you're like, oh drat, how do I go ahead and bring up the autocorrect options again? Do I have to go ahead and retype in a misspelled word? No, just go ahead and go backstage, file, to options, to proofing, to autocorrect options brings up the same window. Now you don't have to look for something misspelled in order to uh, take full advantage of the autocorrect feature and say, okay, I want it to now be considered spelled. So let me go ahead and type in what it considers as correctable and delete it, but you can actually add to it. So how about BRG? And when I type it in, hey, it's already there. Best regards. Well, if I go ahead and say BRG, let's say, and then go ahead and click on replace, it says we already had this. Do you want to redefine it? Of course I do. And so let me go ahead and click OK, click OK. So I type in a thousand letters, and at the end of each letter, I always type in my best regards. Instead of that, when I hit enter, I just type in BRG, hit the space bar, voila. Oh, that's beautiful. I just increased your productivity right there by two cents. Wasn't this training video worth it? And then, of course, you can go ahead and hover back over it and go, no, 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 no. Then hover over that little blue line to get the autocorrect options tag or button. Click on it. Change it back to Berg. Stop it or control it and maybe redefine it, or since you're here, you know, BRG, select it, delete it, it's gone, click okie dokie, so when I type in, let me hit enter, BRG, space, Berg. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.